Hello racers and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to have a review of the Reedy ASC 295 replacement rotor for the Reedy fixed timing series of motors. Now with this fixed timing series of motors, I'll just put that aside, uh, the spec rotor in it is a 295. You can see that they have it written on here 295 so when they claim these are replaceable rebuildable and they sell these separate now the reason I bought a few of these is I I found at the end of a race season my motor was getting a little bit you know the edge was off it wasn't pulling as hard so instead of getting a new motor I figured I'd get see if replacing the rotor in it would um, would help in a previous video we did a a, a video on tuning these fixed timing motors and I'll put a link to that in the description below and you can kind of re go back and, and take a look at that uh, we found out that the the standard um, rotor that's in it came to be about 1490 ish gauss and I was hoping that you know maybe a brand new one might have a little bit more gauss a little bit more power I ended up buying two of them, so we'll get to compare two of these and see how, see if it's, you know, the, they're all the same or if there's different ones, more power, less power, more RPM. So I'll just put that one aside and let's dig in. So when I got the package, it was shipped to me by uh, liquidrc.com. That's where I got mine. I'll put a link to theirs in the, the description. Uh, they just happened to be the lowest price at the time, and that's where I got it. But I'm sure that your local shop may have them cheap more or less. So, let's just get the, the label here. ASC 295 for those who want to see it. You can see it comes packaged in a plastic case here. Let's get into the case and see if we can... So it's well packaged. As you can see, it's a complete unboxing. It seems to be in a tube. Foam on each end. Let's just see what we get in the tube. Gonna have to pry out. Looks like foam plugs. Keeping the rotor in place during shipping. So what I see, let's just put that aside, is we get a couple of shims. You see those on the camera. I'll put them a little closer up there. Get a couple of brass shims, the small ones that fit on the this end on the pinion side. And we get a new brass shim, a little taller one that goes in the, the sensor side. They're labeled on the rotor their size and the 295 on the end. They're 12 by five, which is the diameter and 25.3, which is the length. Now I have a rotor tester. Let's just make some space here, get the rotor tester in place. So we got a couple little shims. And the way this rotor tester works is I put the rotor in this holder. You can spin it around in there and see the max strength. So we'll put it into RMS mode, rotor measuring system, zero it. Now I like to put a pinion on, on the rotor. Just make it easier for me to work with okay so what we what we noticed before when we last tested with these were 1490 ish gauss so I'll just flip it to the north side we see 1470 1450 1480 let's see if I can get this one above 1500 1491, 
1510. So 1510, 1515. So this one is a little bit stronger than the one that came with my motor. So we see we can get it about 1515, and that is about, you can see how I'm holding it there. Oh, 1520. Fifteen twenty, any more? So fifteen twenty was the most I could get from this rotor. Yeah, fifteen twenty. I did not see anything stronger than that, which is good. So last time we had the, we saw this. This was about fourteen ninety. So fifteen twenty. That's quite a bit of difference. It says minus 10 on that. Let's just zero it once again, just to be sure that nothing drifted. So zero, flip it over for the positive side. 1510, 1525, 1530. Yeah, so where it was before it had, had so we saw 1530 here. Yeah, 1530, we can hold it at that. So this one here is quite a bit better than the one that was in my original motor. Let's just put that over there. I'll put it off camera, keep it away, and then we'll test the other one and see what we have. So we got one that's 1530, so I think that will help my issue with my motor being a little bit off. Let's try this other one. Maybe there's a, an even stronger one in there. Now in, in the previous video where we talked about tuning a 1500 gauss rotor typically would be something you'd think of as a high rpm uh, the high torque rotors on today's brushless motors uh, they would run around 1700 for a high torque so these are would be considered a high rpm rotor and with high rpm rotors uh, the timing that usually you can get with those or you can set with those and keep them in the, a good power band is about 45 degrees which is what these motors are set to okay so let's move this aside this is opened up we get our another one of those shims and two other small ones in the tube so that, that's what you get with it comes packed in a shipping tube you get three shims, a big one for the end with the sensor, and two smaller ones for the, the pinion side. Again, 12.5 by 25.3. It says 295 on the end. Let's get the tool out so we can take a look. I like to put a pinion on just so it's easy to, to manipulate it in the, the tester. Okay, it is zeroed. Let's try this one. Flip it over to put it on the positive side. So we got 1530 to beat. Let's see what we have here. 1490, 1491, 1470. So this one here seems to be a little softer. This is about what we got with the last, with the one that came in the motor when I when I purchased it. So 1491-ish, that's what we had before, and that's what this one seems to be offering. So I guess when you buy these, uh, you're going to get one uh, about the same as what comes in the motor. These aren't anything extra special. It doesn't look like you get a good one when you order one separate. It just seems to be that you get one that you could have got with the motor or not. So between the two of them, I have one that tested at a 1530. Let's just double check that this is zeroed. It is zeroed. And this one is consistently testing at 1491. Yep, 1491. So what I do, how I'm testing it, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here, is I, there's a sensor in here, pointing at the, at the rotor, 
and I slide the rotor further out or in to get to the to center that rotor against that sensor. And I've done it a few times so I kind of know the feel of what I'm looking for. That's how I can find the find the um, sweet spot of the rotor fairly quick. Okay, so this one tested 1491. This one tested 1530. So I think I'm going to put the stronger rotor into my into my uh, spec motor, and I'll do another video of me installing it in there and giving it a little bit of tuning. I do notice that the that the finish is isn't really shiny. It's kind of a matte finish. Usually these. I've seen them come out quite shiny, so maybe there's a little bit difference in manufacturing where they're getting them done now. Okay, so that'll be it for today. Just wanted to keep the video quick. If you like this type of thing, click like. If you want to see more of this type of thing, click subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, or ideas for other reviews, please comment in the section below. Thank you very much. That was the ASC 295 replacement rotor for the associated fixed timing series of motors. Talk to you again.